I've been teaching economics here at Stanford for many years, and this course is one of my favorites. We call it Economics One or Econ One for short. It's one of the most popular courses at Stanford, in fact. I usually teach it in a large lecture hall with hundreds of students, and occasionally I have guest lectures like the famous economist Milton Friedman when he was alive. And sometimes I goof around as when I brought my baby granddaughter to be the guest lecturer one day. One year, Tiger Woods took the course, and he learned the famous concept of opportunity cost so well that he left Stanford and joined the Pro Tour. Each day, just after giving a 50-minute lecture to hundreds of students, I came to a recording studio in the David Packard building on the Stanford campus and gave the same lecture, but divided into smaller segments designed for easier online viewing. We then mixed in graphs and other illustrations, just as they'd appear in the large lecture. And we indexed each video so it could easily be searched. Then we added review and study material using the latest online platform, which allows for discussion groups and other interactions. The course covers all of economics at a basic level. It stresses the key idea that economics is about making purposeful choices with limited resources. And it's about people interacting with other people as they make these choices. Most of those interactions occur in markets, and this course is mainly about markets, including the market for bikes on campus, or labor markets, or even capital markets. We'll show why free competitive markets work well to improve people's lives, and how they have actually removed millions of people from poverty around the world, and with many more we hope to come. This amazing idea was first put forth by Adam Smith in his Invisible Hand Theorem. We'll also show how interference with free competitive markets due to monopolies or environmental spillovers can cause market failures. And we'll look at ways to remedy these failures, including through the use of government. And we'll study economic policy in theory and in practice and explain why government failure is also a problem in economics. I really hope you like this course and come away to love economics as much as I do.